So today is a very special day. We are shooting the premiere episode of the 15th season of Open House. Welcome to Open House NYC on 4 New York. Welcome to Open House NYC. I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House. I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House. I honestly can't believe it's been 15 years. It's gone by like that. So today I'm gonna pick up some of my favorite things from my favorite places for the crew. My first stop is Chantilly Patisserie. I love to bake, but when I don't feel like baking, this is where I go. Enjoy! Yeah. So good to see you. You too. Okay, so I got my treats. Now I'm gonna pick up some flowers. The great thing about a small town is that everything's kind of close by. I'm gonna take that one. I don't like to go anywhere empty-handed. This is what I do. Our last stop is Dobbs and Bishop Cheese Shop. It's so good. It is just kind of fun to come and try cheese. <laughs> okay, I think I have everything I need. Now I get to find out where we're shooting today. to match to the house. Yes. <laughs> Let's go with this one. I think it's the winner, right? Yeah, me too. Done. Okay. So Angie has been doing my hair since the beginning. Since the beginning. Come on, Anna. Yeah. We're all ready to go. Celebrate good times. Come on. Quite on set. All right, let's go. I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC. We have got a special show this week, so of course I had to bring it to you from an equally special location. We are in the heart of Scarsdale at this luxurious home filled with bespoke details every step of the way. It features wide open entertaining spaces with an effortless flow and 10 foot ceilings that just add to the grandness of it all. You're going to want to hone your skills in this open modern kitchen because it deserves it. And the 15-foot island, breakfast area, and family room guarantee that this will be the heart of the home. Walls of glass frame the resort-like grounds and highlight the seamless indoor-outdoor living that this home is all about. Now, I mentioned this was a special show because this marks our 15th season and we are celebrating. What a journey it's been. Each week, bringing you inside some of the most distinctive properties all across the country. Together, we have seen it all. Architectural marvels, innovative interiors, palatial estates, and intimate, though always interesting, studios. Townhouses, penthouses, manor houses, villas, surfside, cliffside, on mountains, or in a tower. The list just goes on and on. Well, we started as a small local New York show, which was really kind of the beginning of my TV hosting career and have since gone national and even international. It's been a fun ride. So we just want to say thank you. Thank you to all the homeowners who have invited us inside, the designers and the architects who have shown us how a home can be a work of art. Thank you to the chefs, the fashion designers, and all the other mind-blowing creatives who have generously shown us how they live. And thank you to my fellow agents who have always been happy to take us around their most luxurious listings. But most of all, thank you, our loyal viewers, for tuning in every week because obviously we couldn't have done it without you. We're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're at this unique former carriage house on one of Greenwich Village's most beautiful blocks. Welcome home. We are now standing in one of the most private and historic blocks in all of Manhattan. 
We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back, everyone. We are on one of the city's most special blocks, Washington Muse, in the heart of Greenwich Village, just steps from Washington Square Park. As soon as you step into this lovely slice of serenity in the heart of the city, you feel transported. And wait until you see the house itself. Hi, I'm Jason Walker with Douglas Element. This is my assistant, Simba. Welcome home. We are now standing in one of the most private and historic blocks in all of Manhattan. I'm talking, of course, about Washington Muse in the heart of Greenwich Village. The entire block is filled with 18th century carriage houses that were converted in the 1920s. And you can feel that history in the beautiful cobblestone and the intricate facades. It's like no other place in New York. And the beautiful flowers add a dash of color even before you enter. But you're in luck today, because we are going to take you inside to the only privately held home on the block. The entry level consists of the kitchen, dining, and this living area. But it's hard not to be impressed by the grand central staircase that divides the space equally. Even Simba loves it. And you will too. The house is perfect for entertaining or for quiet enjoyment. It's bright, cozy, yet with enough space to hold the cocktail party of your dreams. But if partying is not your thing, imagine unwinding here with your dog and favorite book. Are you hungry, Simba? Why don't we take a closer look at the dining room and the kitchen? I always love showing off this dining area. Can't you imagine all your holiday gatherings here? November, December, fire crackling? Incredible. This mantle was actually carved in France. Yet another meticulous detail that makes this home so special. What I love about this kitchen is the open plan, which allows you to be part of the conversation while you're cooking. Plus, there's a window, which adds even more light to this amazing space. I know it's cliche, but it turns this into a stairway to heaven. Because upstairs is heavenly. The principal bedroom features two skylights and three windows overlooking the muse itself. And I love the addition of these flower boxes. Both bedrooms feature custom built-ins and crown molding. And the guest bedroom even has a little balcony. But the best part, shh, is it's pin drop quiet. One of the many benefits of living on a private street. It was a pleasure showing you 64 Washington Muse. Without a doubt, one of New York City's most charming properties. Simba and I will see you next time. Coming up in just a bit, we are heading out to California to check out the newest project of designer Jason Lai. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're with designer Jason Lai, who shows off one of his newest projects, filled with color and texture. Both energetic flair and a relaxed vibe play out in this Mar Vista home. Let's join Jason for more. Hey guys, my name is Jason Lai. I want to welcome you to one of my really good friends slash clients house here in Mar Vista. In this home, you're going to see a lot of color, a lot of textures, and all the yumminess that anyone will ever love in their own personal home. A grand entrance requires grand statements. Look at this beautiful jewelry that you can open up to your living room. Once in the living room, you're going to see everything. The open concept everyone desires. A few things that I did to this room is painting the brick fireplace black. Wood mantle on a black fireplace to pick up the walnut flooring is exactly what you need. Multifunction is always in my design. I built in a built-in bench with a lot of storage because my clients have kids. Pick up those toys, put it into a drawer, and close it goodbye. The kitchen, the heart of the home. This has to be drop dead. 
I repainted all the cabinets, add screens to some of the upper cabinets to give it a little bit of light and filter. Everybody likes a white kitchen, but what we did here is ground the space with a darker island. Porcelain is actually a really good material for your backsplash and your countertops. It's as strong as quartz and it's easier to clean. No maintenance, always looks fantastic. These existing beams were always here. So what we did is capped it with a nice finish to match the floors and it separates your dining room. The dining room is where you eat all your yummy food. In the middle, a beautiful linear chandelier that droops down and gives that perfect vibe on the dining table. As you know, it's all about the details. Look at this sculpturesque space. It's a crisscrossing pattern where wood meets steel. The primary bedroom needs to feel like an oasis. What I did was put mural paper on the headboard wall. It has that ombre effect where it feels like you're underwater. As you can tell, my client loves blues. So it's not surprising that we use that in the primary bedroom as well. The blue accents are in the wallpaper, the pillow, and the ottoman in front of the bed. It's such a grand, very chill vibe. All the textures on the nightstand, the natural fibers, really gives that earthy feel in a space that's nice and serene. Thank you guys for joining me on this house tour. I'm glad you enjoyed it and seeing all the texture and detail in this space. Now you don't have to spend a lot of money, you just need to know how to use it. Join me next time on my next house tour. We're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, innovative architecture in the Hamptons. We'll see you in just a few. Caroline was born in Paris, but raised in the south of French. French. French fries, French dressing. The heirlooms. These are my great great grandmas. Do you like them? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the whole family on there. Oh, geez. Don't go away. I'll find you. What was that from? <laughs> Welcome back. Now we're with architect Maziar Beiruz and its client, author Amy Fusselman. Together, they show off this unique East Hampton home. He designed it using industrial shipping containers, and the result is a warm and welcoming getaway. Maziar shows us how he did it, and Amy, how she lives in it. Hi, I'm Maziar Beiruz. I'm an architect and founder of MB Architecture. Hi, I'm Amy Fusselman, and this is my family's home in Amagansett, a project we did with Maziar. This site has some unique challenges, which we solved in a unique way that also met the needs of our clients. While Maziar gives you a tour of the exterior, I'm going to head inside. I'll meet you there. Since shipping containers have specific sizes and constraints, we had to create simple geometric solutions that would be easily installed on site. We decided to paint the house black so it would hide in the shadows of the trees that surround it. As you notice, there are four shipping containers in this section of the house, and we removed the walls inside and the floor to create a double height space and added these large floor to ceiling windows that give you a nice view out. But let's go inside and take a better look. This is our living room. It's our main hangout space. It's really a place where we chill after being in the pool, share stories, eat dinner. It's a communal hang. The feeling in this space, the double height windows, is really inspirational and it inspired me in fact to write a book about this place. I love just hanging out here with Twix and as you can see she's pretty comfortable here too. The furniture here is a mix and match. Table Saarinen, the Togo sofa is by Lina Rosette, and the wink chair is by Casina. And my husband Frank made this table during the pandemic. This room is the heart of the home. From here you can get anywhere. And I designed this staircase to feel like a room. This whole house is all about this staircase. We wanted to make sure that you have an unobstructed line of sight from the living room up the staircase and through these windows up at this landing. So the staircase is a transition between the living room and the bedroom, one being very public, the other very private. 
We wanted to give this principal bedroom a little more space, so we can deliver a container off of the second floor. Not only do we get more space in the principal bedroom area, but from the outside, it's a very interesting feature. And with these floor-to-ceiling windows up on the second floor, you really get the feeling of being in a treehouse and being surrounded by trees. And being surrounded by the environment inspired the next feature of this house, which I'm going to show you. This tree is a pivotal anchor point of the project. We nestled the house around it, and we wanted to make sure that you can see it by adding this bridge that has glass on both sides of it. What this transition space does, because you can see all the way through it, is it splits the building up into two parts, scales it down, and makes it appear very settled into its environment. And off of here, there are two bedrooms and a shared bath. After all, this is a home for a family. This is the first house we ever built from scratch and it was such a pleasure to work with Maziar to entrust him to make this vision come to life. And it turned out so amazing for our family. And I'm so happy to have guided Amy and the family through this process and at the same time explored innovations in architecture. Thanks for taking a look. And can't wait to see you on the next project. Coming up, we are in the hills of Beverly at this ultra modern home. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back. Now we're at this modern home in Beverly Hills inspired by mid-century architecture. It features panoramic views and an easy indoor-outdoor flow. This is dream living California style. See what I mean? Hi, I'm Marshall Peck with Douglas Elliman Real Estate and welcome to 1731 Summit Ridge Drive in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. As we make our way into the incredible living area where we have a beautiful indoor bar right next to the outdoor bar which makes for quintessential indoor-outdoor living. We have the spectacular entertainment outdoors. The swimming pool has a waterfall and a fire pit where you can sit and relax and enjoy the incredible view. This indoor outdoor space is phenomenal for entertaining, but you cannot do it without food. So let's go take a look at the prep space in one of the finest kitchens in the world. Take a look at this kitchen. We have hidden refrigerators, double ovens, and probably the coolest walk-in refrigerator this guy's ever seen. So let's take a look at the stainless steel countertops, the leather quartzite from Italy, and a massive gas cooking range. And while we're at the beautiful stainless steel sink, we can look out into the incredible canyon view as we make our way to a restaurant quality banquette where we can enjoy our meals with family, friends, or ourselves, however you choose. While this area is all about entertaining, the lower level is all about wellness. The first space devoted to this is the gym, where you can get all your daily workouts in and feel completely rejuvenated. And even adjacent to that is the heated Himalayan salt room, which even the finest spas do not have. Here in the privacy of your own home, your massage therapist or physical therapist can give you all the treatments that you need. Or you can meet up with your hairstylist who can do anything that you would need that would be done at an outside salon. And just beyond, you'll find a steam bath or a heated sauna. But what is a house like this without an incredible primary bedroom. So let's head up there right now and I'll show you around. And welcome to the primary bedroom where you also have the most spectacular views of any home in Los Angeles, California. And even better, we have a special surprise for you in the bathroom and closet. Here we are in the primary bathroom with an, an enormous shower where you can actually go out a sliding door and enter onto the beautiful balcony where you can relax. And the Delos Wellness Solutions Energizer Mirror gets you going in the morning 
to start your day. But the piece de resistance is the massive walk-in closet. The fit for royalty with beautiful imported stone from Italy, the circadian lighting, the handcrafted word work. What better way to start your day than getting dressed in a showroom quality closet like this? And one more place to see the secret upstairs roof deck. And this is the rooftop sanctuary, the greatest place for privacy and to get away from it all. Here you are on top of the world and you can see everything that Los Angeles has to offer. We'll see you on the next one. Well, it feels a little bittersweet, but that marks the end of our first episode of our 15th season. And thank you again for celebrating with us. We hope you enjoyed the home tours. And don't forget, we're gonna be back here next week and all season long with more design inspiration and beautiful homes, and even maybe some unexpected journeys this season. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Open House TV for some beautiful behind the scenes photos and footage. And check out our Open House TV YouTube channel. We're adding new content all the time. Thank you again, guys. Cheers to 15 years. Cheers! Here's to 15 more. Cheers, cheers. I can't believe the show's already over. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe, because we're going to keep giving you these amazing homes.